scientists in England have discovered an amphibian death pit containing 8,000 frog- Did you say amphibian death pit? I've gotta check this out. Phew, it was just an archaeological find. I thought somebody stole my band name. So this is really cool because archaeologists aren't sure how exactly these frog bones got here, but they have found over 8,000 frog and toad bones that they think belong to over 350 different amphibians all inside of this 2,000 year old Iron Age village. Where was it? In Cambridgeshire, England, and this site could have been used as far back as 400 BC. So how did all these amphibian remains get there? There are a couple hypotheses. One is that a cold snap came through and wiped them all out, which could be possible, but I don't know why they'd all be in the same place unless they're all just sitting in the same pond that froze over. But even then, there are frogs that can survive being frozen over, and unless they were in this guy's backyard... One of the neighbors have left because I have one point for a million tiny frogs. I just don't know if 350 frogs would all get frozen in the same spot. Another explanation is that this could have been a group of amphibians that were all moving in mass to one area, maybe looking for a pond to breed in, and they all fell into the same ditch and got trapped. Yeah, sure, I guess. Uh, something that makes this sound a little bit more reasonable to me is that I guess the pit where they were found it was next to something called a roundhouse. And the archaeologists explained that this roundhouse was used to contain grain, and so it could have gone swarmed by insects, and then those insects would have attracted frogs and toads, and so if there's a hole that they couldn't get out of nearby, it could have just been a trap over time that a lot of amphibians fell into. But not like a man-made trap, like they're doing this on purpose, just like it was an accident they fell in there because there was no evidence that people were eating these amphibians. And then the last and maybe most likely explanation is that some virus came through and quickly wiped them all out. And if you're like me thinking about the cold snap, you might be thinking, well, how did a virus wipe them all out in the same amphibian death pit? Well, to answer this, archeologists point out that a very similar event happened across the UK during the 80s and early 90s. If you're familiar with any sort of reptile or amphibian vet medicine, you've probably heard of something called Rana virus. Is it Rana or Rana? All my professors always said it differently, but either way, it comes from the Latin word meaning frog, so rhinovirus literally means frog virus. While I was doing research for this video, I was looking over a list of symptoms for rhinovirus, and it kind of looked like ways to tell if your pet frog has a rhinovirus, and I thought the funniest symptom they listed was finding a giant group of dead frogs. If you find an entire group of dead frogs, your frog might have rhinovirus. This does make it sound like we're on the right track. I wasn't too sure about this explanation, but I looked up some stories from the 1980s and early 90s from the UK, and I found this story from 1992, which details a rhinovirus outbreak where it wasn't unusual for people to find groups of 100 or more dead frogs in one place. And at at least one of these locations, up to 500 frogs were found dead, which does put this in the ballpark of the recent discovered amphibian death pit that researchers believe had around 350 amphibian remains in it. So after doing all this research, I feel like the virus explanation makes the most sense to me. If they just fell into the pit or there was a cold snap that caused them all to die and people were living in the area, I just, I think people are too opportunistic. Somebody would have tried eating some, I guess toads could have been poisonous in the area. So maybe that, that would be why they never touched them or never ate them. People generally aren't good at leaving things alone. So I'm kind of leaning towards a virus wiped them out. That kept people away because ugh, something killed all these frogs, probably not safe to eat. That's, that's my final answer, locking it in. Uh, but I'll be interested to see if more information comes out on this. And I would love to hear what you think happened down in the comments. Thanks for watching. And that's the story of the amphibian death pit.